What's up, YouTube? Today, I'm going to talk about leather in my fragrance rant. And now, leather is one of the staples in, like, the masculine fragrances. It definitely is a note that a lot of fragrances have. So, basically, you know, leather can be used in a lot of ways. Like, you know, One Million has that leather in the blonde woods, but it's a very light leather. Just, like, a touch of leather to make it a mainstream kind of smell. You know, so you don't have too much sweetness going in that one. But then you have other scents that can have like a very rugged leather, you know, kind of a green, mossy kind of leather. Like Halston Z14 is a perfect example of that. And, you know, I mean, you see the 70s scents and they start to have that kind of leather smell. You know, when you look back, a lot of the vintage fragrances, they have that kind of green, leathery tone to it. I mean, leather definitely has an old fashioned feel to it. But there's a lot of very modern uses of leather, and they can use suede in a lot of fragrances. And like Usher has some suede in it. And there are a lot of fragrances out there that have just a touch of leather to give it kind of an, an animalic touch. And then, you know, I mean, like leather can make a fragrance good or it can make it really bad, depending on the type of leather and how it works. Like English leather is an example of a scent that is dead. Whereas American Eagle has a leather scent that's pretty modern. And people can use certain types of clean leather, like not rugged, mossy leather that has that kind of old school feel, but they can get more of a clean leather and add it to a fougere or woodsy scent, and they can give kind of a masculine tone. And like you look at some of these fragrances, like Gucci's, if they use leather, they use very good grade leather. And so it has a rich, refined kind of leathery smell. And if Burberry uses leather, it tends to be more of a, you know, kind of a very urban, kind of clean smell. That's one thing about Burberry. Like, they're making a lot of fragrances that have this kind of aromatic, fresh appeal now. You know, traditionally, like with London, that was more of the Oriental category, and then they had the more powdery version. You know, London was the sweet, kind of spicy, and then they come out with London. Or, I mean, Brit which is the more powdery woodsy version. And then they come out with Touch, which is woody floral musk, but now they're starting to move more for the fresh. And when they use little bits of leather in the modern fragrances, they tend to use it for a clean urban touch. Now in the past, like if you were looking at some of their older fragrances, it was a more refined, rich leather that gave a very masculine tone and made it undoubtedly masculine. And nowadays, a lot of leather is very unisex in men's fragrances. And they try and be careful not, you know, they try and make a lot of unisex feeling fragrances. And so there's certain leather scents, like English leather, like Dirty English, which is kind of a leather tobacco with some dark musk and dark amber, but it's not a sweet scent. It's a very rich, woodsy, dry kind of spice. And it actually works quite well. but. You know, like Dirty English is one of the few scents that has that kind of masculine leather. And you look at some of the vintage fragrances, like Hobby Rohe, they have a rich leather to it. But, you know, they make sure that they have, you know, just a little bit of moss, and then the, they have the benzo in and the vanilla, and it kind of sweetens it up. And that leather keep makes it very masculine, but it also gives it a good smell. And leather can work well with woods, and it can work fairly well with spices and musk and a lot of different ingredients if you have a good scent matrix. And you look at a lot of scents that are fruity and they kind of have this aromatic middle note where they have the spices and florals coming out and so it starts to have this very fresh feel and then it dries down and it becomes kind of an oily musk. And that's where like you can have leather and stuff like that that start to deepen the scent and give it a more sophisticated masculine smell. Now, like Polo Double Black has some leather and woods and a lot, it kind of has that depth to it. And on the other hand, you get a lot of scents that have this kind of leather and, you know, there are a few Vermont scents with leather that actually do a good job of taking a very masculine ingredient and then they add, you know, some candy, you know, some chocolate, vanilla, and stuff like that. They have just the right amount, and it works. And you can see a lot of fragrances today that use leather in a very modern way. And they put leather in with a lot of aromatic ingredients 
and you know the leather gives it this undoubtedly masculine dry down keeps it from being too feminine but leather is one thing you got to watch out for because I'm going to tell you you're not going to like everything with leather in some cases the leather may be very caustic smelling and it may have a very chemical smell and in other cases you have a very rich leather that's undoubtedly a good scent so it's all about you know what they're using it for 